Greetings and salutations fellow Transformers addicts. This is TFA1024 coming at you with a very new video that I want to try and make. This is something I like to call a TFA BTS. If you don't know what that stands for, that stands for Transformers Addict Behind the Scenes. Today we're going to be looking behind the scenes of the filming and the production of Transformers Rising Warfare both parts 1 and part 2. So without further ado, let's get it started. So here we are in the studio, which is basically my mom's bedroom. Very generous woman. She she let me film in here um, because I needed a big, wide open area to film with. And as you can see, most of the figures are still not really incorporated. With part one, I used a large abundance of figures, uh, including Voyager Class, Blitzwing, Astrotrain, Hoist, Red Alert, Tank Core, Dreadwing, and a few others. Um, you also notice that I used Bruticus with the add on kit from MBC002 Military Titans. And you see Jetfire here, in, or Skyfire, my bad. I'd like to call him Skyfire just because if you, you know, take that off, hey, it's Skyfire. So, I put that back on, hey, it's Jetfire. <laughs> and you see I got my Stomp and Chomp Grimlock. Um, I don't normally do this, but I want to just show this off. <clears throat> That's what I looked like when I was like four years old. <laughs> I never really did one of these behind the scenes videos, but I really wanted to show off what I had done. So as you can see, I have Metasaur and Superion right there in their box, still in a pose, um, whenever they were, you know, bashing it out together. Uh, and again, I want to apologize, by the way, for uh, not having enough action in this. I know it was mainly Optimus Prime and Megatron, but I'm still learning stop motion, and uh, I'm doing the best I can. So, And as you can see over here, I have the Planet X Dinobots ready to cause some mayhem. Uh, I got my Wreckers. A few wreckers, some of them. Uh, Topspin, Whirl, Roadbuster, oh, Windblade fell over. <laughs> um, Cosmos, who was originally going to be incorporated in part one, but uh, didn't have um, to really. I didn't really have the motivation to have him in there. You can see you got Cyclonus and the uh, Windblade, Chromia and RC about to hit it off. Um, kickback, both my Bumblebees. Now, I am going to consider getting rid of one of these, maybe for a giveaway, um, because I have two. I have the one, the original one, and then I have this one. I like both of them, but I only just want one, and I kind of like the one that's, I don't know, maybe. Uh, if we have Optimus, we got a, got a large abundance of figures. Um, now, most of these guys weren't really incorporated in either parts one or two, but they will be included in uh, a foreseen future. So, and that's not going to be filming until probably next year. Um, probably towards like January or late December, maybe. So I don't know. I mean, I know technically December isn't really next year, but you know. So anyway, here we have the main battle scene. We have the wreckers over there who weren't really incorporated along with a, uh, giant overgrown, uh, GoBot. I didn't even realize I was a GoBot. Um, we got the Protectobots and Perceptor over here. Got the big boy Metroplex. And we got all kinds of stuff. A lot of clothes. <laughs> Um, but here we have some of the main action. We got, uh, Blur targeting Starscream. We got Drift fighting Starscream with his swords. We got Cup fighting at Acid Storm and Hot Link. You got Bitstream, Bitstream, not Bitstream, Bit, B-I-T-S-T-R-E-A-M. Uh, you got Springer practically decapitating... Thundercracker over there. You got Ramjet, Skywarp, Sunstorm, Thrust, Acid Storm, Dirge, and you got Big Old Devastator right there. Um, and then when we come over here, you now there's Tridehead. He's just chilling. We got Sandstorm, Soundwave, Centurion, Whirl, Scoop, Hole Punch, and Caliburst, Sound Blaster, Alpha Bravo, and Wheeljack, who will be incorporated more in the uh, the sequel. And of course, we're going to be seeing the other classic guys that we had before. We're going to have Voyager, we're going to have Blitzwing, we're going to have Octane, we're going to have Red Alert, Astrotrain, Tankor, Dreadwing, uh, Crosscut, who was going to be voiced by Transformers Interstellar, and uh, Skids, and uh, quite a few others. Brainstorm making his awesome return. 
Uh, I'm going to be probably adding Scamper here soon if I can. I think that's him right No, Trail Cutter, Warpath. They're all going to be incorporated in it later. Um, Scamper, who would be in this, but he is not. And I was going to add the uh, the minions for Laserbeak. I mean, for Soundwave and Soundblaster. Uh, but I didn't. Nope, there's Scamper. Right there. I missed him. Hey, there you were. So, I was going to have him paired with Metroplex, but then I thought, eh, maybe I'll save that. So, anyway, so here, yeah, this is basically where I worked on the whole stop motion. This little cabinet here is where I used to film the uh, the scene with the Seekers transforming and taking off and Bruticus threatening to <laughs> melt, uh, cook Thundercracker and Skywarp alive for mocking him. Uh, so, thought that was pretty cool. Uh, Jetfire will be, or Skyfire will be seen later on. Just, I'm keeping it G1 because basically this is G1, but like more modern base. So, there's that. You got my cat's litter box. <laughs> uh, so, yeah. Uh, and Foreseen Future will probably not be in this, um, in this actual, you know, uh, this, this actual room. It's probably going to be filmed someplace else. Um, but yeah, and then you have over there, you have the star of the show, you have Prime's trailer, so there's, there's that. But, uh, yeah. So basically, I'm going to show you guys how I actually made this. So, uh, I'm going to cut here, and we're going to go on my iPad and take a look at how I basically came up with this. Uh, so, let's get right on to it. Or should I say, let's get right on to it again, I don't know. Anyway. Uh, yeah, let's go take a look at my iPad. All right, guys, so as you can see right here, this is my iPad. Um, it's what I use to film. It's what I use to record my videos for YouTube, my video reviews, um, all kinds of great stuff. Um, basic iPad setup, you know, I just personalized it myself. Um, but anyway, we're not here to, you know, talk about the looks of my iPad. We're here to talk about the software. So what I use for stop motion is a, a very handy app I like to call Stop Motion Studios. I'd like to call, yes, I'd like to call it Stop Motion Studios, because that's the name of it! I, I, bloopers! <laughs> um, anyway. But I don't have Rising Warfare Part 1 anymore, but I do have Part 2, and as you can see, it, it makes things a lot easier. Um, you know, here's the scene with Megatron giving Optimus a very fatal blow, and he just... Boop. Boop. Boop, 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 boop. Anyway, um, I thought it turned out pretty good, um, uh, but it, it's very, it's a very easy process, uh, stop motion. I thought it was hard to begin with, and, um, at first it was, but once you get to do it a lot more, it's a lot easier. Uh, but as you can see, I got 711 pictures, and the frames were about 9,311. Uh, here's the combination sequence in reverse. There you go. Um, and this is what I use to record, uh, Stop Motion Studios. Now, I don't use this camera, I use this camera, because if I use the one on the back, it's a lot easier for me to manage, rather than, you know, trying to figure out how I, how I work it without it, you know, just messing up. Uh, but, yeah. I thought it turned out really, really well. So that's what I use to record. Now, what I use to edit is Stop Motion Studios as well, but I also use iMovie. Now, iMovie, in my particular opinion, is a very useful app. You can take whatever you want, and you can edit it to its fullest extent. And I think it, it works really well. I honestly really like it. So, if you want to, you could, you know, take this video, put it there. You can uh, lengthen it to a certain length just by pulling it like that. Uh, and you know you can just do all kinds of awesome stuff with it and uh, when you're done you have your movie but if you don't like it you can always delete it that's what I always do so I use that and the last thing I use for recording or for editing is a new app that I bought called scrolling credits now as the name you know says it's it, it practically is just a you know it, it really is just scrolling credits so, here are my end credits, right here, well, it's not going to play for some reason, but here are my end credits here, and basically, it it makes things a lot easier. Now, I have, like, different copies of these, so I would have to really, 
Let's figure out how to get rid of this. Um, but you can take a background just by looking at a web, um, you know, going on web library. Type in black background. You look for the background that you want. I said background. There we go. Take the picture, for example, the one that I used. Customize it. Add all those credits. And there you go. That's how you use the scrolling credits app for your, uh, your iPad. Now, at first I had difficulties because I didn't know there was a way the it just saves onto the iPad, but uh, I figured out how to do that and it actually worked quite well. So, there's that. So yeah, that's how I use stop mo that's how I used uh, my iPad for recording stop motion and everything. Stop motion studios, iMovie, and uh, scrolling credits. And these apps work very, very well. I am going to be definitely getting gun movie effects and pyro movie effects and uh, even probably light sword effects for some uh, different sort of aesthetics on, uh, on effects. But anyway, guys, that's really pretty much it. Now, before I go, I want to show off something that's going to be coming in Infinite Chaos, Episode 1. Uh, there is no script for, uh, part for this one in particular, but I do want to show these guys off, and these are going to be the creators. This is Scorpius, or something else. I think I might just stick with Scorpius. And he's going to have a pet cyber spider. It's something I like to call. Um, this is Saros. This is Quintus Prime. Now, the reason I'm using him as Quintus Prime is because he looks very Quintesson-esque, and I think it works very well. So, Quintus Prime is going to be one of the main creators, or Quintessons. Uh, I need a name for this guy, but I'm thinking something like Nomulus, or uh, something similar to it, I don't know. And uh, this is going to be a female... And uh, I'm going to be using her as, like, the second-in-command. So, yeah. Anyway, guys, that's pretty much it for this. So I want to thank each and every one of you for watching. And if you want to see more TFA BTS, then please let me know down in the comment section down below. And let me know what you want to see it on. And if you have a figure or a video game that you want to see reviewed or played, then please, by all means, let me know down in the comment section down below which video game and which figure you want to see reviewed. But really, guys... That's pretty much it, so I want to thank each and every one of you for watching, and please remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe for more of my awesome videos, and remember to get addicted, stay addicted, and TF Addicts for life. This is TFA1024, The Transformers Addict, rolling out.